stains just like we did nigger. And today, every one of us is Scottish. <laughs> celebrating the tomb tavern. And I have a wee little copy of his pattern right here. <laughs> nice little bird he is wearing. But as I say, everybody today is Scottish, even my famously Scottish friend, Sophia Duncan Angus by Stuart Tysons. <laughs> <laughs> so I bring you a Scots tale, using 25 of the words on this page. Every one of those words being from list two, the most Scottish list there is. Because it's got sky, like that little girlie right there. So, brash and brave, young chant of Charlie, left his clan behind, a drumming all along the long roads to Glasgow, with a huge and steaming haggis tooked into his kilt for provision. Oh. <laughs> he was off to join more distantly related peoples, Keith and Kin still, to be their leader, and thus make himself a larger name than was possible with his father and brothers hanging about looming, casting their shadows across him. To be their leader he went. Those good folk were leaving their homes from the shores of Loch Long, because the Loch Ness had flooded. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ronald Barley <laughs> to have afflicted the fields of Glasgow, but it seems that, much to the sorrow of the McMungo clans, Nessie must have drunk quite a lot at last night's gaily. It was so overflowed the bank of her loch. <laughs> On arrival, he found his cousins in the first pub he entered. Obstinate and piping proud, women alongside the men and below and above, and, a, and, and in a ruction and a row and in their cups. Now, if you've ever gone raiding amongst the most raucous murders of crows haunting the Isle of Skye, that bedeviled land, then you still have no idea how the tartans fly or the babes do squall like bagpipes being abused by the light of the gibbous moon when a great new chief of the highlands tries to get kinsmen a traveling away from the spirits. And now, if you're one of those who thinks that every story should end the way the hero was starting out at the beginning of the tale thinks all bright and shiny eyed then you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> this is just one of those sad, sad Scots tales. His kinsmen are in shape. But now, if you realize that where the cousins are now is an ideal new home, then they'll stand you your next swallow as a cousin, as king, for you are a Scot. <laughs>